Hello, my name is Dr. Harish Malik and I'm the owner and tutor at Best US Family Tutor. We're located in Porter, Texas, which is outside of Houston, Texas. If you've never heard about Best US Family Tutor, I highly encourage you to visit us online at www.bestusmlytutor.com and uh, continue watching this video till the very end. So why best USMLE tutor is becoming the new gold standard method for preparing for USMLE step one, USMLE step two CK, USMLE step two CS, and USMLE step three. This is what I'm here to discuss today. So there are tons of great USMLE related videos online and many, many more USMLE, USMLE mentors, good tutors, and review programs, guidance counselors. And then the question arises, who can you trust with the one shot that you have at your USMLE step one, step two CK, step two CS, or step three. Now, whether it's your first time taking this step or one of those NBME shelf exams for your rotations or the very last time, or you are somewhere in between, uh, you should obviously look for the best tutor. So we created best USMLE tutor to help you reach your best step one, best step two CK, best step three score fast with the least effort while making this whole process really enjoyable and fun. So we launched Best USMLE Tutor about five years ago in September of 2012. And since then we've been providing the best individualized personal online one-on-one -on -one USMLE tutoring and USMLE review sessions to both the American medical students, the IMGs, as well as the international medical students for their USMLE Step 1, USMLE Step 2 CK, CS, and Step 3. Also, we have helped many medical students for their third and fourth year in their shelf exam, NBME shelf exam preparations. So best USMLE tutor students, they typically see a USMLE or NBME score increase of somewhere around 40 to 70 points in just a few weeks of targeted tutoring using our novel thought-provoking common sense conceptual analogy-based teaching methods which are not available anywhere else. So you might wonder why even after studying so very long and hard, why your previous USMLE step score was lower than what you had hoped for, or that why despite reviewing and attending various popular review courses and using the popular resources and, uh, that everyone recommended, and your NBME self-assessment scores are below average or not improving, or why were you previously unable to pass a particular USMLE step? So we've had the highest pass percentage in the business of USMLE preparation and our USMLE step one, two CKCS and step three pass rate for first time test takers has been 100%. And it's been close to 97% for those retaking these steps. So we've been able to save many American Caribbean students and IMGs from being kicked out of their medical schools at step one stage or step two stage or you know others uh, we've helped them reach their USMLE scores in a timely manner now if you if you're interested in learning uh, as to what our students have to say about our services please uh, log on to www.bestusmletutor.com and click on student reviews and you can read those reviews there and you can also give us a call at 803-493-5573 again the number is 803-493-5573 and we can get you in touch with some of these students and also provide you a free sample demo session to show you how our approach to USMLE is revolutionizing how students are preparing for USMLE these days. So what we do is we use a thought-provoking, analogy-based, common-sense approach to learning medicine. 
which will not only help you do better on your steps but also make you a better clinician. So let me give you a, a little demonstration of what I mean. So we usually start by asking the student like why do you want to be a doctor uh, or what is the meaning of the word doctor? Like what do you think life is? And what do you need to stay alive? So what changes happen to the human body when the person falls sick? Like why do kids who get henoxonlin purpura get a rash on their legs and buttocks and not on the upper body? As opposed to people with fat embolism after long bone fracture, why does their rash or the PTK happen on the upper body and not on the lower body? Why do you think that the distal interphalangeal joints get spared in rheumatoid arthritis? Why do you think that 97% of vaginally delivered babies are born head first or vertex presentation? Why is a fetal head or a baby's head so big in relation to the rest of the body which is so tiny? So how do you quickly learn and remember all the different heart murmurs and their attributes? So why do people who have hypertension or brain tumor have early morning headaches? The answer to a lot of these questions can be reached by using one single word. So anyway, if, if an approach like this makes you curious, best USMLE tutor is simply the best way to learn. Medicine and uh, if you're looking for someone who's going to sit down and help you cram a lot of medical information, Best VSM Literature is not for you. There are tons of free content videos that are available online and some that you pay a subscription fee for. I recommend you watch those. What Best VSM Literature can help you do is learn the techniques to answer USMLE style questions more effectively, more efficiently, help you reach that single best answer every single time. That's what we excel at. So what we do here is we, in the first week of the program, we give you an ology based overview of the human body, uh, its uh, interactions during normalcy and during disease, and uh, give, you, give you some tools to standardize your vocabulary. Now after you are done with the conceptual building and vocabulary building in the first week, we move on to doing questions. So we go topic by topic like neurology, uh, medicine, OB, PEDS, psych, surgery, emergency medicine, family medicine like that. Then after we review several hundred questions from these topics, students typically start doing uh, a rapid review of your world which they finish in about two weeks. The entire year world done almost like three times because they go like eight blocks a day. And in the last week, what they do is they come back and take like full length NBMEs and uh, we give them some critical feedback as to what they can do to improve scores in between like from this NBME to the next NBME to the next NBME. And most students uh, typically take only five or six weeks to get ready for each step. And we've had several students who came to us after like failing step one, then they passed their step one, they passed their step two, they passed their step three, and now they're practicing physicians. So a lot of our students uh, from American medical schools, they get referred to us by their student advisors and uh, they have our information and um, we've never had a student fail who has been referred to us by a student advisor. A lot of our step three students actually find us online and uh, most of the step three students are psych residents or anesthesiology residents or like surgery residents, pathology residents. Some of them have been uh, family medicine, even internal medicine residents. 
and uh, besides uh, busy residents we also get students who've actually finished their residency and unable to practice because they cannot get a licensure so some of these actually finish fellowships as well and they were literally hanging by the thread you know fifth sixth attempt and uh, we were able to help some of those not all of them and um, some students come to us because their scores on step one and step two were not that high and they wanted a better score on step three and to pass step three even before they apply for residency to increase their chances of getting more interviews and hopefully matching and we've had success with some of those students as well now before we wrap up uh, i would like to discuss some avoidable mistakes that i've been seeing that a lot of the students that come to us have made uh, which led to a failure or a low score on their prior USMLE step. One was that uh, improper planning, then another was sleep deprivation and lack of practicing full length exam simulations so therefore they didn't have the stamina. Another one is they were not able to finish all the questions in the block on time. And a most important point that they overlooked was that they were not building vocabulary and they were jumping right into their preparation and they were not ready to actually absorb that material and fully understand it. So it was not so much so using the wrong resources, but I would say misunderstanding them was the real, real problem that they were facing. So taking too long to prepare is another thing that I've seen. So it's like trying to build a memory palace here, a memory palace here and taking too long to build each one. And by the time you are on to your third or fourth thing, the first two memory palaces have already been demolished by your body. Remember a simple rule in the body is use it or lose it. So what I try to do with students is build the whole thing at once within a few weeks and constantly keep using it so that the body is not going to delete all that information. So taking too long to prepare and thinking that, you know, by learning all the final details, you're going to score high. Uh, I've seen that that does not work. So if you have failed any USMLE step, you're looking for help and guidance. So we have been providing free free assistance to a lot of students in helping them understand their deficiencies and what they can do to do better on their steps. Now, this is particularly useful for people who cannot afford our services because uh, private USMLE tutoring is pretty expensive thing. So if you are just looking for free guidance, well, we are there for you. We do almost 300 sessions every year to help those that cannot afford our services. Besides that, we also provide free demos to students who can afford our services and if they want to. And uh, out of the students who have actually selected us over the others, we've, we've always had a 100% success rate in terms of first attempters and retake ones is close to 97%. So if you are going to take a USMLE step soon, or if you are simply planning to take USMLE in the near future, if you're a first year or second year medical student or third year, fourth year medical student, or if you've already graduated from a foreign medical school and are planning to move to the US and planning to take USMLE, then please give us a call. Our number is 803-493-5573. We are located in Porter, which is near Houston, Texas. So. Thank you very much for paying attention throughout this video. If you have reached the end, then the next step is to not procrastinate and give us a call and see how we are so very different with USMLE preparation because we do not focus so much on the content. We focus on building student ability to understand and comprehend that content and give them the ability to utilize it fully during an exam setting. So if that is what you're interested in, then best USMLE tutor is really the best way to prepare for USMLE. So please give us a call. Thank you.